Hi, and welcome back to Gavin Sonic D. Well, it's one of those momentous days when something's about to change. All the, well, for the last three years, I've been building bits of airplane, wings, horizontal stabilizers, vertical stabilizer, rudder, elevators, tail cone, turtle deck, forward fuselage, all those things. And today is the day when I actually start to put all those things together. Now, so far, I have attached the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer and the uh, elevators and rudder. They're all secured. Everything's done up tight. It all seems to work. We've got uh, got to make the um, the infill panels to, uh, to infill between the horizontal and vertical stabilizer, but and we've got to fit the the ends to everything as well the little glass fiber tips but apart from that that end at the back there is almost in one piece and um, what i've done at the front here is i've stripped down the um, glare shield and windscreen um, everything was uh, up drilled to uh, the correct sizes then I stripped it down and uh, that's up on the mezzanine at the moment and has been deburred and is ready for reassembly. Um, and so the next thing I've got to do um, is actually put the two halves back together again. It'll only be temporary. Um, because to transport this to the hangar I've got to be able to take it apart it won't fit in my trailer otherwise um, and so we're gonna put it together now and then um, I think we'll have a look at doing the rudder cables I've got the two little um, brackets to go or the adjusters as they're called to go between the rudder pedals and the rudder cables and so i think we'll do that because i don't want to to have to do that after i put the fuel tank in the glare shield and the uh, windscreen so that's a bit of a plan so i'll get on and uh, put the two halves together and uh, we'll see how it goes speak to you later so yesterday afternoon I spent the afternoon doing a little bit to uh, the aircraft and uh, and so what I've done so far is I've rejoined the forward fuselage to the tail cone and uh, just temporarily uh, all the windscreens been stripped off and uh, at the rear end we've fitted the fairings that go over the hole where the rudder cables come out so there's one on this side and one on the other side and I had previously made the uh, the adjusters for the rudder cables, um, but when you do it, you have to leave one end un unmade effectively, so that you can fit it to the length of the cables and the position of the rudder pedals. And so I've measured that all up and uh, and done those two and we have functioning rudder pedals 
um, bending the the springs was a bit of a I don't know whether I can get a picture of them but uh, the pedals are held back with a or the the cables are held under tension with uh, a spring when you haven't got your feet on it um, and basically uh, put the rudder pedal in the furthest forward position then put some tension into the spring and cut it uh, to length and uh, with the uh, rudder pedal in its most forward position to give a, a reasonable amount of tension but not too much and then the second one I cut so that the uh, when the rudder pedals were in the middle position i.e. they're both level with each other that it didn't pull one way or the other so it's neutrally um, sprung in the centre um, but uh, there we go so that's all working and uh, now what I'm doing is I am spraying a couple of parts um, I'm going to spray the top longer ons black um, before fitting them uh, because the rest of the interior is black we've got black side panels black upholstery the um, all the upholstery inside is going to be black and uh, that panel at the back there is going to be black as well so um, I'm busy spraying those parts up at the moment and so that's what I was doing yesterday afternoon um, it's a rainy windy afternoon this afternoon I've done all my chores uh, this morning so um, I get to play for a few hours um, with aircraft parts this afternoon so as I do a little bit more I'll keep you up to date I know it's probably difficult to see this but this is the glare shield I've got it upside down at the moment I've covered it on the other side with some black material uh, leatherette and I've sprayed the two top longer ones uh, sort of a um, silky black, not matte, not shiny, but uh, something in between. Um, I've also sprayed the underside of the lip around the glare shield where the instrument panel goes. And then I've riveted on the angle that attaches the instrument panel to the glare shield. The stop for the fuel tank is temporarily clecoed in place just to give this uh, assembly a little bit of um, stability whilst I've got it off the aircraft and the front um, brackets that joins the clear shield to the firewall are also um, riveted in place at the moment and I'm just riveting on the the two top longer ones this obviously will then get turned up the other way and uh, I'm hoping it's going to be installed on the aircraft very shortly or later et voila the glare shield is on with the uh, two top longer ons, there's our space for our instrument panel, and uh, the fixings around the front for the top of the firewall, and it's not looking too too bad. I had a lot of. Uh, problems putting the material on it's not perfect it's got a few uh, wrinkles and uh, and that here and there but as my father used to say a blind man would be pleased to see it more later so now I've put the uh, the top of the firewall back on to 
just to check everything still fits and it's looking good and uh, I've also put the instrument panel back in just to make sure that that fits as well and everything's looking good only got a couple of screws in just holding it there at the moment and uh, quite pleased with that so one of the other things I'm looking at at the moment is the positioning of the equipment on the firewall. I sent an email to uh, tech support at Sonic saying um, is there a particular um, recommended uh, place to position uh, the equipment on the firewall for a, a standard Aero V turbo installation and they very politely uh, wrote back to me and said no and uh, <laughs> i thought they could have given me some some pointers of what they did um i assumed that you know as they build these things that they'd have some kind of photograph or a um, sketch or a drawing or something which uh, gave the approximate positions because of course i can't actually work out where anything's going to go until the engine is uh, is on so i found that a little unhelpful um but there we go you can't have everything and i suppose as i'm building an aircraft i've got to make some of it up myself um but uh, i've ordered the battery i've ordered a uh, lithium ion uh, battery uh, can't get the earthx ones in france so i've gone for a different manufacturer similar capacity um and uh we'll see what happens um uh, it should be a well it should be here in a week or two it's coming from spain believe it or not why i have no idea but it was cheaper to buy it from spain um, than it was to buy it in france um could could have bought an EarthX, but I did find one place that would do an EarthX battery, but it was about four times the price that you would normally pay in the States. So I thought, well, that's just not worthwhile. Um, but anyway, that's what I've been up to today. Um, next thing I'm going to be looking at is putting the uh, winds screen surround back on and the windscreen in and getting some more final rivets put in um, hoping that that's uh, all going to go to plan it should do it all kind of fits um, I'm toying up the ideas of which bits to paint and which bits not to paint before I put them put it together I don't particularly want to paint too much um, but then again I don't want it to look like a rough aluminium thing when it's finished um, particularly in the cockpit because it's got some nice ABS um, plastic panels to go in there some nice black leather upholstery to go in there um, so might as well make a bit of an effort I've decided that I'm going to go for a uh, battleship grey um, instrument panel um, to be a bit of a contrast with the uh, mainly black instruments that are going to go in it and the mainly black interior that we're going to have too um, so that's what's next on the agenda um, work here has slowed down a little bit for the winter so I'm going to hopefully be able to get a few days here and there the weather's not good at the moment um, we're getting some rain um, which is not good in one way but is good because we need it desperately uh, before summer next year I'm still very low on water here so we could do with a few weeks if not a month of continuous rain really um, but I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing as I do it uh, that's all for now folks